Now this is a hand gaff that is utilized for bringing in a big fish out of the water and onto the boat, onto the craft. And you take it and you go boom like that so it sinks into the fish and then you get and pull it aboard. And this is made out of stainless steel. Can you cut a little shorter? And it's, uh, it's particular uh, to this area. You don't see this in New England because they use a little different thing. Now, I have told the captain, if we get a big halibut, I want him to shoot the halibut in the water and not in the boat. I don't want him shooting the halibut in the boat because it puts a hole in the boat and the damn boat will sink. Now, if we get a two or three hundred pound halibut, how's one guy going to bring oh, out on? Oh, you got to get a couple of them. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Four. Yeah. So how many boats, of those hooks do we have on board? Oh, we have about three. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. We're well equipped here. Okay. Does, do you have the fish or does the fish have you? Oh, I got him. I got him. Oh, boy. He's a pullet. Oh, he doesn't want to get down the boat. He doesn't want your new address? Come to me, Obadiah. He don't want to change his address. <laughs> yeah, his new address is Buckingham, PA. Oh, boy. You fellas are going to be so so jealous when you see this fish. This is the best one we got so far. Oh, boy. This is no throwback, I'll tell you. <laughs> oh, hot diggity. Oh, oh, no, I'm not letting him take any line. I'm bringing him home. Oh, 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 oh. oh loose steel. Oh, no. oh, look at this. He's oh. taking it. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Doc. You're supposed to pull him in. Oh, yeah. We're pulling him. Oh, don't worry. Woo. Oh, loose steel. Oh. <laughs> Wait till you see this one. You're all going to be so jealous. Oh, you better get the gun. This is a big one. Oh, yes. Look at him. Oh, it's a dandy. Oh, you are right. Oh, it's a dandy. Oh, it's a dandy. Oh, yeah. We're going to harpoon him. Yep. Where's he at? He's right down there. He's in the water. Oh. Bring him up. I am. I'm bringing him. He's going to harpoon this one. Okay, Captain. Even forward. Doc, you don't have him hooked very well, so be careful. Forward. Well, you want me to go forward? Yeah. You foul hooked him, Doc, so be careful. All right, Doc. Oh, oh. Excuse me. Is he foul hooked, Bill? Oh, yes, he is foul hooked. Up to the corner of that rail. All right. Raise him up just a little bit, Doc. Don't let him get away, Doc. Oh, no. There you go. There you go. Ooh, that hurt. Damn it. That's a big one. Right in the bone. Right in the bone. That hard man's stuck. No, it's not. No. no. You got to get more on him. Big one. I'm going to bring him in again. Don't worry. <laughs> I told you I had a good one. Well, he's not. No, mine is getting sort of lonely in that ice box. So. Yeah, well, <laughs> don't worry. We're going to change this one's address. <laughs> oh, nice one. Good job, Frank. What'd you get, Frank? Frank got a salmon. Damn. Excellent. All right. Nice silver. Nice silver. Come on, Doc, hurry up. We're getting time running out of film. Over? He's coming. Yep, there we go. Nice you already? Yeah, whatever you get. <clears throat> that's a nice silver. That's a 10 pound silver. I hit the infamous bone. I mean, I, I hit it as hard as I could hit it. It was not moving through. That's a beaut. That's a 10 pound silver. Oh, he's 12. 12? Yeah. I'll tell you, at first. When I, I knew it was something hard, then I, I, I slacked one and I said, sucker, you run off. Well, that's a I beautiful fish. Game. Beautiful fish, Frank. You gonna have that one stuffed? No. I stuffed the days a little bit. <clears throat> what, you take a line off your dock? Oh, he's, he's, I'm, take, I'm bringing him in. Don't worry. 
We're going to change this one's address. You're still changing addresses? Oh, yeah. Why yeah, yeah, is this open on it? Well, you fellas are just all jealous. Boy, he doesn't want to come in. He's scared of you. He's got all kinds of holes in him. <laughs> Maybe they ought to bring the rifle out and shoot him. I think so. <clears throat> Not yet. Are you seeing him yet? No. No? Where's my cameraman, Don? Just have my dad run over here. Okay. I'll come around. Right <coughs> Hold that silver up, huh? Right? One second, I'm, I'm waiting. Where's that, uh, where's that little gadget? Right? Here, I'm here. Okay. He's coming up again. There he is. There he is. It's Moby Dick. Well, there he is. Well, now, Doc, don't don't be messing with him this time. Yeah, yeah. I'll be good. Well, there he is. Oh, he's back again. Back for more. He just took another run. He, he saw that address book and he didn't like it. That. Howard, how long did it take you to get that fish in? Oh, it was a long while. It was a big fight. I'll tell you, but I changed his address. <laughs> I'll tell you, it was a dandy. Is and then the, the captain, when he, when he harpooned it, he harpooned it in the, in the spine and it didn't go through. And then the fish took another run. He got mad at you. Oh, he was irritated. Oh. Yeah. Okay, very good catch. This video is brought to you by Highland Hill Farm. We grow and sell screening and buffering trees for privacy and sound barriers.